What's up my friends, so in this video we are going to solve this challenge, right, it's named ArcC, uh, the language is C, the platform is Linux, 64-bit uh, architecture, alright, so let's get started. Uh, one thing you have to do is to download this uh, CrackMate challenge, I will, leave, I will leave you the link in the description, so let's start. Alright, so before starting like uh, reverse engineer this crack me challenge let's see the behavior let's see the behavior of this program we are going to like to try to run it so the first thing that we face is we don't know how many arguments we have to pass to this program so for example let's try uh, pass hello world for example pass nothing will work all right so our first assignment is to know how many arguments you should pass all right so uh, as we used well, i'm going to use uh, gdb and object dump so so object dump is just a program like assembly it shows you all the assembly code of the program all right so we're going to do minus m intel minus d and dot slash our program all right so as you can see this is our assembly code i'm going to copy this code and paste it in a file like to add comments and something like this all right so let's copy like this and we are going to create a file for example v main assembly all right so this is our uh, our assembly code and here in this tab i am going to run the gdb all right so rxc and i am using a gif extension so this gif extension have a lot of benefits it shows you the registers the stack you can print the addresses and a lot of things all right so we are going to break at start like this and then run all right so first thing in the start as we can see here let's see in the start we have pop rex all right so let's see what, what is what is inside this this rex right so uh, before i have to explain to you something when the program executes from the start right it's rsp point to the argument counter so rsp point to argument counter and when we do here pop rex pop is an instruction that give you what the RSP points to and in this case when the program uh, executes on the start label the RSP points to RxC so now the RX contain the argument counter so RX contain the RxC Bro, let's just type it All right let's just do like this so we have rx contain the argument counter like this all right so let's continue as you can see it's popping the argument counter rx and do shift right al by one so let's uh, see what what is this instruction do this instruction it's like uh, moving one byte to the right so shift right this uh, he specified the register which is the al which is the low byte of the rx register by one i'll explain to you so for example let's say we passed three parameters for example let's do run hello world this is the first parameter run it's equivalent to the name of the program when you do like rxc like this all right so this is the first argument the second argument and the third argument so if we see the rsp it's point to the argument counter and the argument counter is equal to three good now he is popping the argument counter in the rx so let's do next instruction now the rx equal to three all right then he is doing this instruction so let's see what is what this instruction do i'm going to copy it right here all right so this is the instruction for example for example uh, as we know al is equal to uh, 8 byte all right so al is like is equal to this 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 all right so in this case al is equal what is inside the arc C, which is in this case is 3 so 3 in uh, binary i guess it's 1 1 like this all right so when you are doing the shift right when you do like like this shift right you are like moving you are like 
moving the byte from here to here so this condition or this instruction it's work it just move the byte from the left to the right so in this case these zeros will say stay here and this one will take the place of this one so it will equal like this it will be like this so let's do equal zero 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 another four zero bro i am bad at this zero Z bro i am fucking bad at this let's just type it all right so l is equal to zero 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 and zero zero and as we said this one will be go here so this one will equal to zero so zero and one all right so it's like it's like dividing by two so for example three in this case divided by two so three divided so three divided by two is equal 1.5 as we know all right and in this case we are working with integer values so this 0.5 is gonna be removed and we are just work with this one in this case all right so i guess you know what he is doing he is like taking the argument counter and dividing it by two by two all right because here in the main he is comparing the EDI. All right. So by the way, when the libc uh, call the main, it pass the argument counter in this RDI register. So now he is like comparing the RDI register, which is the argument counter with three. But uh, when you, for example, if you know this comparison, you are going to enter, for example, three arguments. But what he is doing, he is dividing it on two in the first of the program. So when you come here, you are like, what the fuck? Why I entered three arguments? Why this is not working? But 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 the problem is here. He is like dividing by two by this instruction. So what you have to do, we have to enter the double of the number that he wants. For example, here he wants three arguments. You have to enter six. So six argument divided by two, it will give us three. I hope you understand this, all right? So it's like a kind of security, all right? So for example, let's do run. Uh, this is the name of the program, as we said. Uh, the first argument, hello. Second argument, third argument, uh, third, no, the four argument, five and six, all right? So now, as you can see, the RSP points to the RC, RC equal to six, good now the rx contain six all right then he will divide by two so uh so rx will contain three all right let's see how this how this is done so as we said the l is contain uh, the argument counter for example i guess let's see what what is six in uh, all right so let's see what so let's see what is six in uh, in hexadecimal all right so let's go to here not here here so six let's do convert in uh, no from decimal to hexadecimal so six yeah binary binary sorry binary it's one one zero all right so here it's one one zero all right let's see it's one one zero all right so by doing this by doing like this uh, instruction the l will equal to this so will equal not here all right like this come on bro all right l will equal to this zero 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 then zero zero all right let's see here as we said this one will move right here all right so so here we are going to have one in the last all right then this one will take his place so we are going to have here one one and this one as we remove this one here this one will be replaced by zero so it's gonna be like this zero so this is the binary code of number three all right so it's like dividing by two good now let's continue all right so this is just a layer of security now let's continue 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 all right so let's do run again but from the main all right so brick in the main and to run second argument third argument four five and six all right so we have one two three four five six all right let's do as we said the r is equal to six now it will be divided by two it's equal to three good 
now let's continue 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 now it will guide us to the main section all right let's start so this instruction is just for security now and uh, it push rbx this is just for uh, the libc routine now here's the thing he is comparing the rdi with number three so let's see what is inside the rdi rdi is equal to three as we, as i said i have to explain to you something also so as i said to you uh, when the libc like uh, like called the main it passed the rc so the rdi is equal to the rc right then also the rsi equal to the arc v of index one which is the first parameter right then another thing the rdx equal the environment pointer environment of index zero like this all right so don't focus on this uh, last uh, parameter it's not important the important uh, the two important things are arc c and the arc v all right so when it's called the main it's passed the argument counter in the rdi and the arc v of index zero in the rsi all right so it's like rsi point to the place of where we have the arc v and the rdi point to the place where we have the arc c right so it's continue and we're going to see this later in the, the main right now he is comparing the rdi with three next instruction the comparison is true because here we have jump if not equal jump if this condition is false all right let's continue now here's the thing he is moving the rsi plus 0x16 to the rx so as i said uh, let's come back here as we said the rsi is equal to the arc v let's go up here and let's remove all that all right so i'm going to do this remove this and remove this and remove this and i'm gonna erase this okay like this all right so as i said the arc the rci the rci is pointing to the arc v of index zero all right and we are in a 64 bit architecture so rsi plus h will guide us to the arc v of index one the next block of memory all right and plus 16 the next block of memory and like this so in this case i have just two uh, two uh, arguments but in this case if we, uh, but in the case if we have a lot of arguments we can like move to the next argument by just adding eight bits all right so in this case what he is doing he is like doing rsi plus 0x10 and 0x10 in the decimal is 16 so he is like want the second argument so for example let's change this to the arc v arc v of index 2 and the, and by the way when the argument done we have we will have a null here all right and also with the environment pointer when the the environment pointer is done we will have a null in the end of this 2d array all right so let's continue so now he is taking the argument vector of index 2 which is the second argument and like saving it in the rx register if you want to make sure let's print what is inside the rx register so print rx is equal to this address let's try to print what is inside this address as we said we have g right i don't know g is the second argument or not i'm gonna like do a flashback of the video in this uh, here i guess all right so let's say that this is the second argument and then he is doing rsi plus 0x8 so he is taking the first argument and uh, saving it in the RDI, RDI. All right. So as we said, uh, the RSI prone to the arc of index zero, which is the name of the program. So let's say here. So like this. Dot arc C. Good. The name of the program, and he will have the first argument and the second argument. Now he is doing RSI, RSI plus eight, so he is taking the first argument and saving it in the RDI. To make sure, let's try to print the RDI, RDI and XS like this. Now let's do this. Good. We have the first argument, which is H. I guess uh, it's like it's like the first character 
of the of the of the hello but let's do something let's do like a b c d e f three argument all right so let's uh, let's remember this is the, the first argument this is the second argument all right we have one two three four five six all right let's do again next 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 all right let's print the rx we have this address let's try to print it not what i am doing here x bro come on what's happening let's quit what's happening bro let's open another gdb i don't know what's happening here all right gdb rxc break at the main and run a b c d e we have six arguments all right so we are at the main we have an i like this uh, push rbx is combined the rdi with three rdi is equal to three good let's continue now let's see what is inside the rx as we said this address xs let's try to print it no not you all right we have b the second argument now good let's continue let's do p uh, rdi we have this address x s as we said and print this we have a so like he is comparing the first argument with the second argument and just to know this str comparison it's a function that compares two strings and if they are matching each other it will return zero else it return two things either a value like op a positive value or negative value but if they are but if they are equal to each other it will return zero and by the way the return value it's saved in the rx register from any function in assembly i guess yeah but let's see all right so now he is moving the rx in the rsi so the two parameters are saved in the rdi and the rsi all right let's do next instruction all right let's see what is inside the eax we have here this value which is not equal to zero so the comparison is false and let's see where it will guide us all right next instruction test is comparing is the ax equal to zero or not depending on that if equal to zero it will jump to the good way i guess to print the good message else it will load this address in the rdi and i guess this is the wrong password message all right let's continue so let's see what is inside this rdi so let's do print rdi and xs like this we have wrong password all right and this puts is is just like print f it just print a string all right let's do run again a a the first argument and the second arguments are equal to each other then b c d i guess we have six six arguments good now next instruction next 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 now the rx equal to a and the rdi is equal to a so the comparison i guess it will be good all right let's see the value of ax is equal to zero as we can see here good now let's do next instruction he is testing is the ax equal to zero or not and now he will jump to this place in the memory all right so let's do next instruction let's see what is inside this rdi let's do print rdi xs and print this we have correct message good now let's do next instruction he will jump here to return and leave the main right so move ebx pop and return and now you crack the program like a hacker see you in the next crack me challenge peace